In my last video, I talked a little bit about how I use show control on my MacBook to send LTC SMPTE timecode signals to my MA and then split it out into Resolume and timecode everything for our show that way. But just, uh, let's see, last weekend at Red Rocks, um, I figured out a really cool and more streamlined way to get timecode into my MA net session by just including my MA2 on PC computer, which is already in my session on almost every show anyways, and linking the MacBook with my on PC session using MIDI timecode. So everything is the same connection from the CDJs over to the show control computer, right? There's just a, a NIC here, network interface card, um, that is connected to the network switch that is connected to the CDJs. And over that same switch, I am sending MIDI timecode via network MIDI. So that's a built-in thing in, in Apple's uh, OS X software. In, in Mac OS, you have this built-in MIDI network setup page. And I'll show a screenshot of this uh, if this isn't too clear or isn't clear enough. Um, it's accessed, I'll show you how you get there first. Uh, if you go to Launchpad and then in your other page, there is this uh, audio MIDI setup icon. Once you get in here, you should have an IP MIDI and go to configure devices, open MIDI network setup. And this allows you to send and receive MIDI information over your network. So once you have your IPs configured so that you have your on PC system in session with your MA, you can also set a secondary IP. And I'll show you how you do that here. If you just right click, uh, open your adapter settings and we're connected to, let's see if I can show you this. my gigabit network card properties, go to IPv4 settings, and under advanced, you can set, instead of letting DHCP choose which IP, uh, I just set an MA net IP and a pro DJ link IP. And I found that by going into network settings, uh, going to pro DJ link, link devices, or excuse me, interface, and then just seeing what IP show control was auto assigned. And so I then made sure that my MIDI out was set to the MIDI host and outputting over network MIDI. So you can see SK MIDI. Make sure that is the same as the local name in your MIDI network setup. Then all you have to do is install a piece of software called RTP MIDI on your computer. And RTP MIDI is basically just the rebuilt version for uh, for PC, it looks, I mean, it, it, the configuration window is identical to what you see um, on the Mac, but it's uh, built by, who's, who's this by? C give credit where credit is due, Tobias Erickson. Um, definitely download this piece of software and donate if you find it useful. I've already donated. Um, you should too. And basically you just have to make sure that your session is enabled and that you can see your MacBook. And then you can see my session 
is labeled as CJPC. So then in MA, all we have to do is go to our yellow ball settings in on PC and make sure that your session name is the MIDI in device that you're using. So I've got a whole bunch of other ones here. And if you've got multiple MIDI in devices you need to use, you could do a, a Bohm MIDI translator to combine those signals. But we'll just use CJPC for now. And then lastly, in setup, go to network config, and then make sure that your on PC is set under MIDI TC as TC slot one or whatever slot you, you want. LTC slot one. And now here comes the fun part. Whatever layer we have assigned to the master layer, so we can do A, B, or you can even just like generate a signal. Um, I'll just assign it to A for now. Go full screen here. So if I've set up everything correctly, if I play over here, yep, we've got uh, MIDI time code on show control layer A, which is also outputting linear time code. So super useful. And uh, this is pretty much how I'm gonna be running everything from here on out as far as lighting time code goes. Still probably gonna be running uh, uh, a network card or uh, an audio card for uh, Resolume, since I don't think there's a way of getting MIDI time code into Resolume or at least a non-convoluted way. And this is really simple because it's just a Cat5 cable and a Cat5 cable into the switch. And then as long as your IPs are configured, um, yeah, you have free reign to time code to your heart's content without any weird audio interface problems or, uh, yeah, it just uh, makes life a whole lot easier when you've got multiple stations. So. The only downside is that it's really becomes beneficial to have multiple laptops running on the show control network. Um, so every you know station really needs its own MacBook if you're going to be using this kind of setup. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you found this information useful, leave a like down below, comment, and uh, check out the links down below in the description uh, for other ways you can support. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.